Alright, what is going on everyone? Pi Studios here, and I just wanted to relatively quickly go over how to install Persona 5X on the Steam Deck. Um, unfortunately, we haven't been able to do this until, like, as far as I'm aware, a few days ago, because the, um, the, the way you do it is quite haphazard. It works! It's very interesting how you do it, I'll, I'll show you guys here in a minute. Um, before this, you had to install, like, an Android emulator, and it was fine. It's just that the controls did not map at all, <laughs> but now it's like actually good. So yeah, let me just show you it running real quick. Let me actually go into my settings and... Well, no wonder it looks like garbage. Okay, I'm just leave it that way, I guess. But yeah, let me show you it running here. Okay, I'm not used to playing this game with uh, the keyboard and mouse. It's not very good <laughs> that way. But yeah, no, it runs. It runs fine. You can definitely mess with the settings to make it run a bit better. I think it's just... I, I was able to play it at 60 FPS last night. I think the reason why it's not doing it now is because I'm putting it on a TV. But yeah, no, the game does run well. Um, let me go in here, I guess. I don't, I don't even know what I'm supposed to be doing. I don't really care. But um, yeah, let's get to the tutorial. All right, so to do this, you are going to need to be in desktop mode. So let's go there. Just go to power, switch to desktop. All right, so now that you're on desktop mode, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is just to go to your browser of choice and download Persona 5X. Of course, the uh, the PC version specifically. Maybe, some sometime today. I personally recommend playing the Korean version and it's probably gonna stay that way for a long time. So I don't know what the actual link is. So I'm just gonna look up P5X Korean. Okay, and then of course, when you get to the website, depending on which version you get, it's gonna look a little different, but there should be a download button of some kind. Um, just download that. And then once you do, go to the little folder. Of course, again, it's gonna look different depending on your browser. And again, it went to the other screen, Lord help me. So now that you've got this installer, you're gonna to wanna to go to Steam, Library. To add a non-Steam game to your Steam library, click here, click add a non-Steam game, click Browse. Go to downloads or wherever you have the the installer at and then scroll down and just select it and that's all you do i'm going to use this old one because i already have it here before you launch the installer what you're going to want to do click the cog here click properties go down to compatibility click this to be on and then make sure it's on proton experimental because if it is not if it's on any of these other versions i think minus 9.0 I think it just doesn't open or it doesn't open properly, something like that. But yeah, just make sure it's on experimental. You'll be on the latest and greatest version of Proton. And then just click play. And Steam is frozen. That's so cool. Okay, there we go. Let's try it again. Okay, now that you have it open, th this part is crucial. What you're going to want to do, go down to this little arrow right here. Click this button. And then you're going to want to install it under my computer and then your C drive. You don't want to install it anywhere else. Nowhere else. Because that way you're gonna mess it up. Be because the the way it works is that the actual install needs to be contained within like the wine it's not a virtual machine, but basically the wine sort of like it basically is a VM. I don't know how to explain it, but basically like the VM that wine makes the actual game needs to be within that, and uh, it's kind of hard to tell when it is and when it isn't. The The de facto way is just make sure it is in this C drive. So then once that's selected, click this box, and then click here. I don't know what this says, but I believe it's just telling you to make sure it's in, on an SSD and not a hard drive. Click the right button, and then it'll install. Or rather, it'll install the sort of like basic installer for it. Just ignore that. I already have a download. Honestly, I really should have done this tutorial with like the Taiwanese version or something, so it's different. <laughs> Oops. Um, that will not open up for you. At least I don't believe it will. So once you have that part set up, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to find wherever that VM is. So to find it, we're going to have to go to Home. And then within this folder, it's going to be under under dot .local, and it is a hidden folder. So you're going to have to go up here, click show hidden files, and then it'll be there. Just click on that, and then go to share. 
go to Steam, go to Steam Apps, go to Compat Data, and then what you're going to want to do here is you want to right click, you want to sort by, and then click Created, and then do that again, and then Newest first. And then it's going to obviously have the newest folder be at the top left here for you to select. So just click on that. And then click on this PFX folder. Drive C. And then P5X is going to be right there. And then what you got to do from there is open up the P5X folder. Click the um, P5X Coral Launcher.exe. Go up to the top here. And then you're going to want to do copy and paste of that boy copy and then you're gonna to want to go back down to here let me just delete this so I can show you guys click add a game add a non steam game browse and then at the top here click up here control V hit the little arrow and then it'll bring you exactly to the path over here so then just click p5x launcher whether it be Korean or whatever doesn't matter as far as I'm aware. I haven't tested any other version, but I, I can't imagine it like doesn't work. Click open. Click add selected programs. It may take a minute. I've noticed that actually it, it, it can take quite a bit for whatever reason. All right, so it finally added it in. So just click P5X Core Launcher.exe. Again, click Manage, or the little cog, go to Properties, Compatibility, click that on, make sure it's under Experimental. And then from there, the game should just work, so let's try it. Okay, I'm already logged in, because again, this is already set up, but it's going to have you log in just like normal, like you would on PC, um, normally. Um, I'm already logged in though, so I just press the top button, I believe. Click the right button here, then, of course, just because mine's already set up, I don't have to download the game again. But when you're going through it, it's going to have you download the game. It's pretty self-explanatory. You literally just click the button and then it downloads. But yeah, that is pretty much it as far as the setup for just the actual game. Now, let's go on to the setup of the mod. Alright, for the actual installation of the mod, you're going to want to go to the server and then go to whichever version you're playing. So for example, if you're playing the mainland China build, CN, TW, KR, respectively, pretty self-explanatory. All you gotta do though, just click on this mega link. And then just click download. Okay, so once you have the content from the, um, from the zip, either extracted or just copied, it doesn't really matter. All you gotta do, Go into wherever you've got P5X installed, go to the client, PC, and then just drop it here. File name for clip. Linux is so stupid, I swear to God. That's not what I asked for. Okay, thank God. Yeah, so instead of just doing what I did earlier, just drag the files over, it's so much easier. And now everything should be in there. So now let's try launching the game. All right, and that is it. I don't know why it's running so poorly. Let me mess with the settings. Okay, so that already kind of helps, but it's still not great. Can we get to be any better? So, I mean, everything before <laughs> everything is maxed out. That's probably not the best idea. 1280 by 800. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I will say, you don't have to run this in desktop mode, obviously you can go back to the normal game mode and play it just fine. And this does recognize actual, like, controller inputs from the Steam Deck, unlike the, uh, the Android method. Uh, so yeah, this is pretty much the best way to play it portably. I mean, this will beat any phone in terms of its, uh, in terms of its performance. But yeah, that's pretty much it for me. If you have any questions, please feel free to put them in the help channel, in the Discord. Um, make sure you tag it as Steam Deck, though, just because um, it's going to be hard to tell what's what when you're not uh, when you're not specific. But yeah, that's that's pretty much it. I really would appreciate it if you would give a like and subscribe to the channel if this did help you out. 
Um, also, shout out to the people on screen. They're the ones that like actually figured this out. I am not smart enough for that. They figured it out, not me. Give them the credit. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Peace.